I'm Lauren McGee. I want to talk to you about the kitchen and why right now it is so important to me as a place in my home to be with my kids. You know, when we think about home learning environments and setting up a place for our kids to learn while they're out of school, the kitchen is not the first place that comes to mind. Paper, pens, computers, you know, and then hands-on activities for my for my daughter. She's you know, preschool age, my elementary age boys, you know, providing them connectivity to their friends and their teachers seems essential. But why isn't the kitchen the first thing we think of? You know, for me, I've been home now five weeks, five and a half weeks with the kids, and I'm in the kitchen for the greater part of the day. Some of it's practical, right? I've got three kids and I'm cooking them meals and we're getting snacks and taking advantage of the fact that we're all home and here and can eat what we want and when we want it for better or worse. But there's another part of the kitchen that we have to talk about. It's so important, especially now. And it's the fact that, you know, being in the kitchen and cooking, it, the smells of cooking, the ingredients of cooking, the physical and abstract ingredients of cooking connect us to our memories, connect us to people and places that we can't be with, can't visit right now. So for me, cooking with my kids in the kitchen or cooking for my kids in my kitchen means that I connect to my parents who, you know, are not here, not people I can visit right now other than virtually, you know, to my sister and to grandparents, to relatives with whom, you know, we share holidays, we share celebrations that all center around food. The, the connection of smell and ingredients to memory is such a strong one. You know, I joke with my husband, anytime I cook with garlic, he, if he's walking into the house and smells it, he says, oh, that smells so good. What it smells like to him is a memory, a memory of his parents, of his grandmother, you know, making pizza or, you know, making tomato sauce. And for me, you know, garlic smells great, but, you know, I would cook and bake with my mom all the time on regular days for holidays. And those memories right now are especially meaningful. And the memories we're making with our kids are really meaningful too. From an educational standpoint, right, the kitchen represents a combination of so many, so many different parts of, you know, what kids study in school. There's math, right? Measuring, there's science, combinations of ingredients, really humble ingredients that turn into magical things. There's language, reading a recipe, translating a recipe, there's social studies, right? Recipes from other places that we're trying out because we can't go to some of our favorite restaurants or spend time with some of our favorite people. So, you know, it transports us to places and flavors that right now, you know, we can't go to or be with at the moment. You probably noticed in my videos that my daughter, she's three, and we have her always in a kitchen helper that brings her up to counter level. You know, I rely very heavily on that uh, because I know, you know, she wants to be a part of things and being a part of things means, you know, being up at eye level, seeing what we see and being able to be a part of things, you know, right in there, right in the mix. So she's stirring, she's adding ingredients, she's tasting the batter, um, you know, and I like that she can be as involved as my seven and nine year old. Thanks for joining me in this episode on the kitchen. It's clearly the heart of our home and it may be of yours too. I'd love to hear about your space and how you use your kitchen. And if you'd like to hear about anything else in Lauren's Learning Lab, if you're interested in having me cover any other specific topics, please let me know. Comment in the comment section below. Um, and you can check out the video description for any links or other information on topics that I've talked about today. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you next time. Take care.